What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys a news slash rant video. And yes, this is an iPhone 10. I have an iPhone, which is very rare on my channel. But of course I do keep an iPhone for comparison purposes as you guys know. Today I wanna to talk about the similarities between Android P and iOS and they keep getting larger and larger. And today there was breaking news over on the developer blog that Google posts all of their sort of stuff that's related to Android developers particularly. And they shared a post, let's go to the post as it looks now, about DNS over TLSS support in Android P, developer preview one, which is basically just some very technical security stuff which really wouldn't be interesting from a user facing perspective normally. However, they made a little mistake and shared an unreleased version of the Android nav bar. Now, if you guys look at the bottom, you'll notice here's the screenshot that they actually had on the blog. These are the navigation buttons right here in gray that were shown in that screenshot. You'll notice something very specific is missing, and the thing that's missing is the recents button over here, which of course is running on my Pixel 2 XL, which is running the Android P Developer Preview 1. So obviously this is an unreleased version of Android P, perhaps what we're going to see at Google I.O. So a lot of people are up in arms about the fact that the recent button is going away. Um, and also a lot of people are speculating as to what this could mean. You obviously will see that this looks very similar. The center button, the sort of elongated pill shape right there, looks very similar to what you see on the iPhone 10. So if I open up my iPhone 10 really quick, you'll notice that the navigation, when you go into an app, it has this elongated gesture support bar at the bottom which of course you swipe out of that to get back. You know, you can swipe into the carousel to get into your recent apps, etc. And then from in here, you can close apps or go back. So a lot of people are speculating that this little bar at the bottom of Android P is basically going to take the place of gesture-based navigation, just like on the iPhone 10. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about that because it seems like everything with Android P in terms of the design is moving towards things that Apple did for the iPhone 10 uh, in iOS 11. Of course, in the original Android P developer preview, we've got notch support, so you can actually test out what it looks like to have a notch on your Android P device. This is what it looks like running on my Pixel 2 XL. A lot of Android manufacturers are starting to run the notch. And now we're also going to apparently see this different style of the navigation bar. Now on one hand, this makes sense because if you're gonna have a screen with a notch, like the iPhone 10, you really don't want to have the buttons at the bottom because that takes up extra screen real estate. So it's kind of a waste to extend the screen to make it taller and get rid of the sort of bezels all around the bottom just to put the navigation bar there. So apparently this navigation bar would hide, the back button would hide when not in use and you would just have this one little bar that would allow you to do gesture navigation. So I can understand it from that perspective. It makes sense from the perspective of the screens getting taller, different aspect ratios, you wanna save the screen real estate. But I'm kind of frustrated as an Android user because Android manufacturers are not finding a way to do anything differently than Apple, and it seems like we're seeing less sort of innovation um, and competition to come out with an innovative product in the mobile space. And everything from the iPhone 10 seems like it's being ported over. We saw AR emoji, uh, come come out on the Galaxy S9 Plus from Animoji on the iPhone 10. That was inspired. We've got notches everywhere in Android, and now it looks like we're going to get gesture navigation. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm just a little disappointed to see a lack of innovation from Google and from the Android OEMs. We'll have to wait until Google I.O. to see if this is in fact the case, of course. We don't know for sure. I will be at Google I.O. live, so I'll be covering it, and I'll have all of the coverage of whatever they do announce at Google I.O for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about gesture navigation and the merger sort of Android and iOS in this most recent version with the notch support. Let me know if you guys like it, you hate it. Drop a comment below and we can talk about it. You can find me over at dubtechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter, the links in the description. Also find me writing over at gadgethacks.com where I write about Android every day. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. I appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.